Okay, this water tests perfectly. Our new pool is now open for business. All right, everyone in the pool. Hey, 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 not so fast. You can't go in the pool right after you've eaten. <laughs> now that makes sense. How long do I have to wait? Judging by what you had for lunch, I'd say uh, two days. <laughs> Dad. Come on, the rule is you have to wait an hour. You still have a few minutes to go. And there'll be no running or horsing around near the pool. I don't want anybody slipping and uh, getting hurt. Hmm? And third, and most important, never go swimming alone. Always have a buddy with you in case of emergency. No problem. I have one. Right, Vicky? Right, buddy. Wrong, robot. Vicky, you can't go in the pool. It's okay. I haven't eaten in three weeks. <laughs> Vicky, you can't swim, so no pool. Can't you program her how to swim, Dad? Well, sure. But she get waterlogged and who knows what that'd do to her circuits. Maybe she'd rust. Well, how about you, Mom? You want to be my swimming buddy? I don't think so, honey. Why not? You won't rust. <laughs> Come on, Joan. I built the pool for everybody. Why don't you go in? Because I spent $95 for this new swimsuit. For that much money, I don't want to get it wet. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> well, how about you, Dad? You want to go swimming with me? I will go swimming with you as soon as we get back from the market. And first, though, I want to blow up this pool toy. Here, Vicky, blow this up. Blow this up. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, it's a beautiful day, and now we have our own swimming pool. We should feel blessed. Mm -hmm. Hi! Hi! She said blessed, not cursed. <laughs> Never get Harriet out of our yard with this pool here. It's us, the loved ones. A new pool. Just what we always wanted. Oh, you could have knocked me over with a feather. I ain't got a feather. <laughs> Itty, titty, titty, such a sweet thing for you to get us a new pool to frolic in. Boy, that's funny, Brandon. I just can't remember inviting you over to frolic. Apology accepted. <laughs> Come on, Harriet, as long as you're here, you can take a swim if you like. Thanks, Mrs. Lawson, but I'll just sun myself. I don't know how to swim. You mean, if I go in the pool, you won't be able to come near me? Uh-huh. Dad, can I live in the pool? Hey, I got a great idea. Let's have a pool party. Yeah, a pool party. Yeah, a pool party. What's a pool party? <laughs> well, first you need a swimming pool. We've got that. And then some fun people. That's us. And some food and drink. And we'll have that as soon as your folks get back from the market. <laughs> now look, Brandon. Uh, uh, Teddy, could you stand a little to one side? You're blocking the sun. <laughs> Ted, we were going to go to the market anyway. Vicky, would you go to the cupboard and get the tablecloth and set the table for lunch, please? Yeah, we'll be back later, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> well, time for a swim. Uh, Jamie... Before you go in, would you do me a favor, please? Could you rub some suntan oil on me? I want to get a tan. Harriet, you don't need suntan oil for a tan. All you have to do is push your freckles together. <laughs> the sun is making me thirsty. You got anything cold to drink, Jamie? Sure, Mr. Brindle. I've got something in the refrigerator. Oh. And uh, maybe a little something to nibble on till your folks get back? All we've got is tonight's dinner. Well, that'll do. <laughs> uh, Jamie, could you bring me just a little cup of water? Harriet, we're guests. Don't be pushy. <laughs> this is a terrific pool, Vicky. You can't go swimming without her, buddy. I'm not going swimming. I'm just... It's okay to dangle without a buddy. Whee! This is fun! Oh, 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 we've got... Emergency! Emergency! Oh, help me! Vicky, you saved my life! What happened? What's all this? 
were yelling. Harriet fell in the water. Could you save me, Daddy? Oh, thank heavens. Come here, baby. Oh, you okay? Ooh. Harriet, I think the safest thing for you to do is stay away from the pool. You're right. Come back in 20 years. I'll be here in the morning. I have to pay Vicky back for saving me. No, you really don't have to. No, I, I agree with her. I think she's right. She should pay Vicky back. Right, Daddy. I owe Vicky my life. I'll live only to serve you, Vicky. I'll never leave your side. I'll be with you morning, noon, and night. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'll do anything you want, Vicky. Polish your nails, brush your teeth, do the laundry. No, good idea. You can throw in my shirts. <laughs> what do you want me to do for you first, Vicky? Come back in 20 years? <laughs> You gotta do something about Harriet. She's gone a little too far helping Vicky with her chores. What'd she do now? She vacuumed my room while I was in bed. What's wrong with that? She sucked all the buttons off my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, look. I'm sure Harriet will forget all about this debt she owes to Vicky by tomorrow. Mm. She also helped Vicky do our laundry. Well, good. She washed your favorite golf shirt. Tell me she didn't shrink it. She didn't shrink it. Well, that's a relief. She starched it. <laughs> oh, swell. Jamie, uh, here's a boogie board with a collar on it. <laughs> now you got two boogie boards. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, Adjusted Vicky's nails. Show him, Vicky. <laughs> you like it? I'm going to do her toenails next. Do them like that and she'll be able to climb trees. <laughs> Harriet, honey, I think you've repaid your debt to Vicky in full. Oh, no. I haven't even started. Come on, Vicky. Maybe I'll give you a permanent. I'd like to give Harriet a permanent permanent lump on her head. <laughs> Hi. When it rains, it pours. And there's the first drip. <laughs> Why are we standing around? Let's put on our swimsuits, grab some munchies, and hit that pool. Uh, Brandon, we, we'd like to talk to you about Harriet. Oh, my little angel, the apple of my eye. We'd like you to keep her home. Do I have to? <laughs> Necessary for Harry to wait on Vicky hand and foot. We Brindles always repay our debts sometimes. And it's an awfully large responsibility for a little child. You know, I never looked at it that way. You're right. I've been, I've been thoughtless and inconsiderate. No argument here. <laughs> It's too much responsibility for Harriet. It's a parent's job, and I will do it. From now on, I am your humble servant. I don't believe this. Your lightest wish is my command. I will cook, clean. I will bring you your pipe and slippers like a faithful dog. Honey. What? I think you better uh, spread some newspapers on the floor. <laughs> Still a little loose. Hey, Vicky, I'm gonna hold this together and you screw it in. Screw it in. Thank you, Vicky. That's tight. That should hold it. Ted. Ted Brandon is impossible. Would you please tell him that he doesn't have to repay us for Vicky pulling Harriet out of the pool? Though every time I turn around, he's in my hair. Like dandruff. <laughs> What's he done now? He defrosted the refrigerator. What's wrong with that? He threw a bucket of boiling water in the freezer. <laughs> he ruined all of the food. Now we've got to go to the market again. Oh, terrific. Oh, and that's not the worst part. You mean it gets worse? He's in there ironing your golf slacks. I couldn't stop him. Which slacks? The ones with the outline of the iron burned on the front. <laughs> okay, that did it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm going to go up to that yo-yo and tell him off point blank. I'm going to say, Brandon, I want to get this off my chest right now. Understand? I understand. Get this off your chest right now. 
I'm so glad I didn't say, give him a piece of my mind. Give him a piece of your no. mind? No. Stop talking to him won't do any good. He won't leave until he feels that he's even the score. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. Vicky saved Harriet's life, so we'd be even if Brandon saved my life. Huh? Well, how's he going to do that? Oh, Jenny boy! Got an idea. Better work. I'm finished in the house, Master. Anything I can do for you out here? <clears throat> uh, yeah, Brandon. Uh, as a matter of fact, there is. Uh, I, I, I was uh, going to go swimming here, and uh, we have a rule around here that nobody goes swimming alone. Uh, you have to have a buddy to watch you. Watch you? Oh, I can do that with my eyes closed. <laughs> you also can't go swimming until an hour after you've eaten and you just ate. You could get a cramp and drown, yo-yo. Come on, Vicky. That rule is just for kids, not for adults. I'll be fine. Just fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh that's nice. Oh, oh. Oh, the water is just the right temperature. Oh, Brandon, you should come in here. I mean, this would really soothe your varicose veins. Oh, this is nice. I like... Oh, oh, wait. I got a cramp. I got a, I got a cramp. See, Ted, Vicky was right. You should have waited an hour. Help, Help baby bread. I'll drown. Are you serious? Hey, I... Put on your pants. Give me a hand. I... Okay, we're coming. Pull me out. I'm coming. Pull me out, Brandon. Here we go. Help him. 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 Help He's gonna save my life in spite of himself. <laughs> to save my life. It's the last thing I do. Vicky, come here and help me. Come on. Okay, Vicky, wake him up. Girl, what? Why how that happened? Where am I? Brandon. Hmm? Brandon, you saved my life, old buddy. I did? You sure did, Brandon. Your debt has been repaid. You don't have to be our servant anymore. It's funny. I can't, I can't remember saving you. How did I do it? Well, with, with no regard to your own personal safety, you, you, you just jumped in and, and pulled me out. Whoa! Did I give you mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? Yes, you did, mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Don't tell my wife. She'll want me to do it to her. <laughs> Harris. See? Once you get used to the water, there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh-huh. This is fun. When are your folks going to get back from the market? I am hungry. Well, come on inside, Mr. Brindle. There's a freezer full of soggy food. You can squeeze out a lamb chop. <laughs> uh, Vicky, I think I've had enough. Would you please help me out? Help you out. <laughs> Get it to me. Come on, babe. That's it. That's it. Oh, come on. Oh. I can't hear her breathing. Got to get some air into her lungs. I'm sure she'll be okay, Mr. Brindle. I mean, she's only a robe. I mean, she's wet. I'll get her a robe. I think I better get her to the hospital right away. No, you can't. I mean, we'd better wait for my mom and dad to it get home. It could be too late. Harriet, just stay here and tell the Lawson's what happened. Okay, Daddy. Really, Mr. Brindle, we should wait. I, if I let something happen to Vicky, Jamie, your father will kill me. That'll make two of us. <laughs> I hate hospitals. I feel faint. Oh, I can't stand the sight of blood. What blood? 
bad. Mine, if I fell, I could hit my head. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in the waiting room. I don't understand this. Her heartbeat is most peculiar. Almost, almost like a clock. Tick-tock, tick-tock. <laughs> well, that's my sister. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. <laughs> uh, I'll take her blood pressure. No, you can't. Of course I can. I'm a doctor. What I mean is you can't take her blood pressure because of religious reasons. Oh, what religion is that? It's a real new one. Their first commandment is, thou shalt not take blood pressure. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Her pulse is strong, her skin tone is good, her temperature is normal, but she seems to be in some kind of shock. <laughs> She's just a little rusty. I mean, waterlogged. Doctor, here's the little girl's x-ray. Oh, good. I'm very anxious to see what's going on inside of her. <laughs> That's her insides? That's not the inside of a little girl. It's the inside of a computer. They sure don't make kids like they used to. <laughs> Dad, you got here just in time. Uh, hi there, Doctor. Uh, we're Vicky's parents. Oh. Is that uh, her X-ray? Well, um, uh, yes. If you can, if you can believe it. <laughs> you know, I think somebody's playing a little joke on you. I mean, <laughs> those obviously aren't uh, little girls inside. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, it's got to be a little joke. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you're right. You know, last week, one of the interns replaced all the blood samples in my lab with raspberry syrup. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought everybody had diabetes. <laughs> oh, zany guy. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Listen, uh, why don't you uh, go chase down the real x-ray, and uh, I'll keep an eye on Vicky. You, well, you'll... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> Maybe I can get her started up again without taking her apart. <laughs> what are you gonna do with her? Got an idea. Stand her up in the middle of the yard and use her as a fountain. <laughs> Listen. <clears throat> Just as I thought, her circuits are flooded with water. I'm gonna have to dry her out. Oh, good. You got here. How's Vicky? You know, honey, maybe, maybe if I can get Vicky to heat herself internally, she can evaporate the water. Okay, stand back. Okay, that should do it. Let's get her out of here. I cannot find that x-ray anywhere. Oh, well, I, I don't think we're going to need it, Doctor. She seems fine now. She does. Yeah. <laughs> Vicky, say hello to the nice doctor. Hello to the nice doctor. <laughs> the most amazing recovery. Uh, yeah, it certainly is. Uh, doctor, I don't know how you did it. You know, no, 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 neither do I. Oh, this is too traumatic. I, I am going back to dermatology. A pimple is simple. <laughs> Uh-huh. How are you feeling? Uh, well, better, I guess. What happened? Uh, well, for some reason, you fainted. Oh. Ah! I remember. I, I looked at Vicky and I thought I saw... You couldn't have. Of course not. I didn't tell you what I thought I saw. <laughs> well, uh, it doesn't matter, Brandon. I mean, the important thing is, is that Vicky's okay. Oh, that's right, uh, Brandon. You saved her life. Mm -hmm. Say thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, nothing that any hero wouldn't have done. <laughs> well, Brandon, I guess that makes us just about even in the old life-saving department, huh? Not quite. What do you mean? Well, uh, Vicky saved Harriet, uh, but then I saved Ted, and then I saved Vicky, so I'm one up on you. <laughs> Brandon. I'll expect you at the house early in the morning. A little cooking, a little cleaning. Now look, Brandon. <laughs> my lightest wish will be your command until you save my life. Save it? Yeah. <laughs> save it? You'll be lucky if I don't end it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I will never save your life again. That's the last time our lips will meet. Can we go home now, Mom? Yeah, let's do that. Well, let's just be careful from now on on what we do with Vicky. Got an idea? Stand her up in the middle of the yard and use her as a fountain. Taped in front of a studio audience. 